and voting had not begun. However, there seemed to be calm. We've also been to Kericho. Jeff Kirui also giving us a detailed account of what is happening in Kericho town and voting also has not begun. This is the Jubilee nominations. Then finally, with Elvis Kosge in Eldred town, uh, where voting also has not begun. And we, as you can see, these are live pictures coming to us from Eldoret town and uh, huge crowds. It seems to be uneasy and uh, there seems to be happen something happening there. I don't know if we can listen in and hear what the crowd is demanding. Uh, we'll listen in and see whether we can get uh, sound of what they're demanding. There seems to be uh, disquiet. what the disquiet is. We'll try and raise uh, Elvis Kosge, who is in that area, just to find out what the issue is. Uh, there seems to be a uh, lot of mayhem and disorganization and also just uh, reports coming in from different parts of uh, the country where Jubilee is beginning their nominations. It seems so far like the uh, uh, ballot material has not been distributed uh, in any areas. And Jubilee nominations in Wasik issue have been postponed uh, following um, an acrimonious engagement between the aspirants and party officials and its stemming issues. Elvis Kosge, of course, reporting from that particular area, uh, which we've already given you the reports, but you can see live images uh, playing out right there, coming from Eldoret Town, where voting is yet to begin. And uh, according to the officials and according to what Elvis Kosge has told us, it's that voting material is yet to be distributed. There is also uh, disquiet coming from the fact that some leaders and aspirants in that area, according to Elvis Kosge's report, that feel there are, you know, uh, cronies to the deputy president and uh, apparently they may have favorites and people who they may uh, be favoring. And as a result, that, of course, is not playing out too well. And as we have seen, even with other primaries, delay of voting begins uh, can cause uh, temperatures to rise, can cause uh, tension to rise amongst the people because, of course, uh, there is foul play which is read into it. Now, Jubilee has had all the time to prepare and according to the president yesterday, he made it very clear that anybody that would be seen to perpetrate violence, especially an aspirant, would be disqualified. This, of course, remains to be seen as to whether it was just rhetoric or would be followed through. But gauging from what we see so far, it looks like uh, voting is yet to begin. We're not quite sure what may have caused the delay, other than the fact that the voting material has not been distributed. According to Rafael Tuju, the Secretary General, who we spoke to on Thursday live here on Morning Express, he assured us that everything is prepared, that voting material was ready, that numbers had definitely uh, been considered. So, of course, we are left wondering what might be the problem so far, given that they assured us that uh, these things are ready and that the material is ready. Uh, therefore, we can only wait and see what is happening or what is going to happen. And, of course, we do have our reporters in different areas so far. We've been to Moranga. We've been to Kericho. We've already given you a live update from Eldoret Town. And we are waiting to also raise our uh, different reporters. For instance, we do have Mashiri Makapombe, who is in Nyeri at Temple Road Primary School. Uh, but of course, we're going to be reaching her and she's going to be giving us a detailed account of what is happening in Nyeri town as we continue along right here on Morning Express. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, we do have... Uh, our um, aspirants, or rather, we do have um, a, a panel in studio, and we're going to be analyzing what is happening now. Jubilee nominations in Wasing issue have been postponed following an acrimonious engagement between the aspirants and party election officials. The aspirants and the elections board officials are set to meet at 8 a.m. Uh, to iron out stemming issues. Elvis Kosge reports.
or aspirants from different sub counties here in Wasingishu, and we also have the Wasingishu Governor Jackson Kiplaga Tumandago, Capsulet Member of Parliament uh, Oscar Sudi, and also Moiben Member of Parliament Sila Tiren. Uh, they just give us perspective of what we are seeing here. Uh, the leaders have raised concern over the man of which they'll conduct the Jubilee Party nomination. Thank you very much. I'm aware you're from sub county just paint us a picture of what is happening here tonight okay we visited uh, the tulling station at uh, ug high school and uh, we visited uh, to see what happened there and uh, we found out that uh, most ballot papers were opened and there were few for example some areas in uh, juakali uh, murgori hills uh, tarbo and uh, Ngenilel. your experience today it shows that uh, maybe the nominations were not prepared the preparedness of uh, these nominations is not up to date because you can find that the transportation only of those ballot boxes and ballot papers were given to those uh, polling agents. Um, the POs were just transporting them, even using a motorbike. And uh, you find even the security officers, they didn't have anything 